In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add new properties to Blender objects and I'll show you how to write functions that are run when the new properties change. I used multiple sources but the main source was the Blender website in the support tab Python API reference property definitions module change the layout to scripting drag to make the text editor window bigger in the templates menu Python UI panel simple click the object properties button and close up all the panels click the run script button and we get a new hello world panel the contents of which is defined by the draw method I'm going to display two existing object properties and I'm going to add two new object properties one of the existing properties I'm interested in is the hide property because it is boolean it is either true or false the other existing property I'm interested in is the Z location because it is numeric and because I will be altering it in the script. The first property that I'm going to display is the object's hide property and I'm going to jump ahead and change these parameters. I have changed the prompt and I've changed the property to the hide property which is of type boolean so we need a string cast to convert true or false to a string. I'm going to jump ahead to change these lines to display the Z location of the object. This line is very similar to this line. This time it's the object's Z location that's being displayed, which is a float. And with the label method, it must be converted to string. Unfortunately, with the prop method, location.z doesn't work. The location is stored in an array. The first array element has an index 0 and stores the x location. The second element, an index 1, and stores the y location. And the third element has the index 2 and stores the z location. I'm going to delete these two lines. In this tutorial, I'm looking at properties, not operators. Click Run Script. The properties are displayed, and notice that the label method allows you to display the value of a property. With the property method, you can actually change the value of the property. Next, I'm going to add two new properties. We can add a new property to a class simply by setting it equal to a property type. In this case, the new property is of type Boolean. This new property is of type Integer. I'm going to jump ahead and paste in the new lines that will display the new properties. Now when we run the script, we see the new properties, but nothing happens to the object when we change them. I'm going to delete the cube and add a text object so that when the value of my bool property changes, the text will change. Next, I'm going to add a function that will be run when the property changes. To link the function to the property, we have to add an update parameter with the name of the function. Now when we run the script and change the property, the text changes. This is the line that changes the text. The text is stored in the body of the text object. It is set equal to my boolean property, which is either true or false. The boolean values have to be converted to string. If I replace the line with an if statement, 
The text doesn't have to be true or false, it can be anything you like. By adding a toggle parameter to the prop method, the boolean property will be displayed as a toggle button rather than a checkbox. And I'm going to change the display name to switch. The result of all those changes is that we get an on off switch. Next, I'm going to add an update function that will be run when my integer property changes. To link the function to the property, we use the update parameter with the name of the function. Now when I run the script and alter my Z layer property, the Z location of the object is affected. So what does the update function do? Well, provided the Z layer is greater than zero, that's one or above, then the Z location of the object is set to multiples of 0.3. So the Z location goes up in steps of 0.3. If you try and set the Z layer below 1, if you try and set it to 0, then 0 is not greater than 0, so the else part is done, and the else part resets the Z layer to 1, so the else part stops you from ever going below 1. Now when I run the script, I can increase the Z layer value, but I cannot decrease it below 1. Finally, I'm going to add some lines of code that will initialize the values of the existing properties of the object so that they will match the default values of the new properties when they are created so that they will stay in sync provided only the new properties are updated. There are many applications where it would be useful to extend Blender's objects with new properties. The Z layer property, for instance, would be useful in my Add Bricks application where I make models out of bricks. And as a fun example of using an on off switch, I've made this file. When I run the script, I can turn the light on on any object and off any new object added to the scene will have the new switch property. And when the object's switch property changes to true, then the object's materials emit property will be set to 1. If I flick the switch, the light comes on. If I go back to the material settings, the emit property has been set to 1. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put both files and both scripts for you to download at my website, click the link or the i icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.